Tennessee native. Gonna take on Cameron Forte. It's Stallions, it's Lightning, it's undefeated basketball right now on NBLC TV. The visitors from the Q's pull away with the Rock, Jordan Ann and Stephen Hurt. Near side, Robinson. Great defense perimeter put up by Doug Plum's crew so far. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Open three for Robertson, makes Forte pay with the lackadaisical defense. Get the ball down. A product of Colgate that played in a Georgian Super League prior to joining the Syracuse squad. Again, the tradition here at Budweiser Gardens, the fans stay on their feet until the first bucket drops and Jordan Jensen-White does just- Really impressive. I, from the beginning of the season to now, I think he's, to me, he's the most improved player. Stephen Hurt corrals the ball into his team's favor. Now the five foot eight Brock Nobles corner three, bang. Oh boy, where are we going with this? All the casual threes, most of them were going in with just a rhythm shot. Forte, the battle of the bigs down low. Over Hurt, can't get it to go. Haley on the scoop rebound. One hand and no less coming in the back door, crashing the boards. Back the other way, it's the Q's, and why not off the square? Easy. Kobe Nwandu. Two games in the G League for the Long Island Nets before being placed on waivers back on January 8th, then signing with Syracuse. Cameron Forte coming off of a double-double performance going... <laughs> Rebounded by a fellow three and Christian Nobles pushing up the court down the right wing, so to speak. Cutting in, the floater is up and it oh, is good. Oh, oh, I tell you, that is going to be a problem all night. That dribble penetration. Green feeds the big man. Three ball won't go. A shot that he constantly practices in warm up. Marauding the ball away and getting the points is Jones. Basketball Jones. Way the rock. Numbers the other way for the home squad. Haley the trailer, down low to Jordan Jensen White. The Canadians work together to get the points on the board. I love it, four London Lightning crashing the boards and this. Tate up the court into the corner. Three for Haley, splash. No hesitation that time. Quick ball movement, had his feet set. John. Yes, it's a high paced game. Christian Nobles to Devin Gilligan. Gilligan, by the way, played a full season in the NBL of Canada for the Sudbury Five. That was a down to one. Jalen Tate feeds Haley. Haley to Isom. Isom shot is up. And what? That time he never brought the ball back down. Kept it high, straight up. Ironically enough, London won 114 101. Syracuse won 117 104. And they're going to say, and one here for Jones. Mr. Stellick, I love it. Great call. Jones got the first step in for overseas and professional. Thomas had all day with a Lou field screen, almost getting two oh, stallions out of the way. He's so good at holding his position and keeping the person on his hip and just a little. Jalen Tate pulled away in the speed of Christian Noble's evident here, going after the rack and laying it in. That'll be interference right there on Noble's TV right now. So exciting, the tournament every year. The near fade away from Noble's. Remember, he started off this game two for two from the field and one for Haley down beneath the basket. And you know what created that? That is Forte. He needs to be about 75%. The C's opened up that time, but Jordan Robertson went on the reverse and couldn't cap it off. Now Jalen Tate, long lead pass from Forte. Taps that one. Easy. Master Andre, the BC native, to a fellow BC product in Haley. The Canadians working together. Haley can't get love off the glass, so he recycles his own trash. Yeah, and he rushed his first shot. He had the side advantage. He didn't need to rush it, but he stayed with it, put it... Put the put back in. As a result, Haley has eight points to lead the Lightning, and Christian Nobles has, well, nine points so far in this game. Bounded away by Flory. Flory up to Christian Nobles. Nobles had 12 points over that first quarter and adds to it oh, here. Four. He's now four of, or sorry, I apologize, five of eight from the field. He's the only. Not getting love off the rim is Philip Flory. Jones up the court to Haley. Slam, jam, <laughs> thank you, man. I saw in this game, to be honest with you. He's impacting the game on so many dimensions. Kobe Nwandu checks it out to Flory. Flory with the floater is good. Again, a really contented native, Villa Flory on the inbound. And now it's Kobe Nwandu. We mentioned it before in last night's game. He had 46 minutes of court time, or 39, I apologize. He's gonna get this one to go. He had nine points in the last game. Well, he's got seven so far in this one. Well, we haven't seen it too much tonight, but that dribble penetration is what we were talking <laughs> about. One of the keys to the game. Forte again. Is he not the first one down the floor almost every time? But look at his first three ball was nothing but nylon. That second 
ball. I mean, they hit everything, the backboard, every <laughs> inch of the rim, and eventually went down. Tate pulls up a three of his own. That's the nylon Makes ripper. the big guy pay for not coming out. He was hesitant to come out because he knew close for the second quarter. Save him for the second half. He's with a dangerous pass to Hurt. Disrupted by London. Give and go. Isom caps it off from Jordan Terrific Jensen. Terrific play and sharing of the ball at high speed, no less. As our player, Christian Noble, probably... If I were the coach, I'd rest him unless it gets Jordan real blow. Jensen White right to Tate up the court. Banks it off the square and in. Timeout taken by Syracuse. Good timeout call. London getting. Visitors who again have not suffered a loss in 2022. Forte up the court to Tate. Tate takes the contact. Thomas following it up not once but twice as that was going down. Tate was still on the baseline going, well, where was the call? Yeah, I thought he might get hurt running in the stanchion there. Good sportsmanship for... Uh, Syracuse Stallion player to pick him up yeah. after that. Kobe Nwandu, great. That was a great point partner. So Syracuse, great Come passing on. and the hammer thrown down from Stephen Hurt. Oh my, no adjustment of defense that time. Yeah, you don't want to let the 6th 11 native go after you, although Cameron Forte he goes into the spin so cycle and control. leaves it with the left hander. You think he's out of control for a second? Soft floater. Stephen Hurt. Again, coming off of that big win, 13 points over the Sudbury Five last night up in Nickel Town. It is, though, Kobe Nwandu, nylon. They're, they're going to need that. That was maybe not the best high minutes just 24 hours ago. Nobles lost the handle, got it back. Kick out three, Flory. Oh, there's two long threes. That's, like I said, they just need some help. Look back at the official, no call. Jones from Jordan Jensen White, wide open, decides, I don't like this, and doesn't take the three. This is the one that did the screen on him, knock him down, <laughs> make back. him pay. He does. A he got hammered down here on the 165 MBLC games and close to 3,000 points. He's surpassed that plateau, has hurt. Big man rumbles underneath the basket for two. It's in 15 seconds to go in the second queue of action in the battle of the undefeated. The 8-0 Stallions and the 8-0 Lightning here at Budweiser Gardens. Kobe Nawandu to the far side now to Robertson. As the clock's expiring, Robertson lays it off the back of the rim and in to draw his team to five points here on the road at halftime. Cross midcourt to Cameron Forte. Forte over that first half of action had nine points and nine rebounds. Forte and one. That is just a great screen and roll play. Madness theme, John, if you will. He was also close, just one year off. Remember, he was a Louisville product. As this three ball from Tate is good. Oh, wow, a little payback. That was a challenge from way far away with the shot clock running down. Tate. What I like, though, is that Jones scored 30 points the other night, right? Tonight, not featured as much, but he's not forcing the play. He's not forcing the action. He's staying within the offense, Chris Jones. Who he was playing against? My goodness. Numbers the other way for Syracuse. A battle of the ones. I thought Haley might have got a piece of it. It's going up and down like a yo-yo. Now Stephen Hurt puts it up and one. Well, now <laughs> oh, they're fighting man. hard on the boards. I'm happy that he didn't come back on defense. So they put him on the bench. There was a little bit of a conversation going on there. I didn't, I didn't like what I saw there between the coach and Forte. Christian Nobles, the five foot eight. So 7.33 to go here in the third quarter of play. It's a seven-point lead for the home team in this battle of the undefeated. The hot potato ball has cooled down. Stephen Hurt on the spin cycle, lays it up with the right hand. Yeah, he's got the long reach, good height. For Terry Thomas, he's now one of eight from the field, 0 for four from downtown, just three points. This one rattles around and eventually goes down. Oh, scores, touch, down the three-point game, one possession. Through midcourt is Jalen Tate. To me, London looks out of sorts a little bit tired. Is I that would, what you're thinking? I was just going to say, Tate, you could tell from the direction he was giving everyone, he wants more energy on the court. The fadeaway two is good from the Chicago, Illinois native. <laughs> Near corner, trying to go back to work. That's Philip Flory. Leaves it out for Robertson, who's got six points, being two of ten from this game. Check that, three of 11. He had the size mismatch. Saturday evening on MLC TV. The Tate miss is reeled in by Lufield. Kicks it out for Haley. Six seconds remains on the shot clock. Scary Terry attacks the rack. I like that. He, made, he didn't make his last three, right? Allows this play to set up through Nobles. His pass is interrupted, though, by a fellow three in Jones. Through midcourt, Nobles lacks a daisically getting back 
And one for Chris the Jones. Strength is right. He's going over there flexing his muscles, but that's a well deserved. It? He point two percent against Sudbury. Syracuse, though, by the way, shot 82.6%. Yeah, excellent shooting. Nobles yeah. gets love off the rim. Jordan Robertson trying to get around Chris Jones, and oh Jones my, just marauders just, the ball right away from him. He's just a hound on a the ball there. My goodness, look at that all the way. Great screen that time underneath by Forte to allow Jones to go around. And was sort of not that big a guy, right? But he's just tenacious, willing to take the contact and won't say no. Jones to Forte. Watch it. Yeah, there it is. Little floater, they let him, you let him go to the right shoulder. That left floater is like nine out of 10 times it's going into the net. Dalian's playoff run last year where they went through the Rawling Firebirds, the Jamestown Jackals, as there's a huge two-hand cram from Jordan Robertson. Instead, he leaves it for Christian Nobles, who has, well, a player high 23 points so far to go along with seven rebounds and two assists, and he banks this one off the window, 25 points. And I'm surprised he's not shooting. Sidelines to Thomas, back to Haley, and it well, almost worked out. Bounced off the rim instead. Shot clock turned off. Syracuse up the court. Oh, my word. Jordan Robertson pulling down the alley-oop. Man, oh, man, they got energy to spare tonight. What were we talking about, them being tired? Terry Thomas looking for somebody on the inbound. He's going to find Jordan Jensen White. With London having a six point lead, did they get the final shot off here in the third quarter? Jensen White skipping oh. in. <laughs> and he counts it as well with his left hand, no less. That's, a, that's just terrific play, a shot clock awareness. And again, you've mentioned it time and time again. This counts towards London standings. It doesn't necessarily count towards Syracuse standings, but. I'd imagine heading back to Liverpool, New York, if they got a loss on their record, the rest of the league's gonna hold that against them as Isom reverses this one off the square. Well, Fellow one and Haley blew a tire and lost it to Forte in the process, pushing it up the court to Jones. <laughs> Had to calm down the bouncing rock. Yeah, now Jones the barking there, at right? Isom for a screen and he's gonna get it. Gives it back to the Texas native off the window. Playing off the ball very well. That's two plays now that Isom's made himself available. To the bucket. Philip Flory stuck on his pivot, cross court to Jordan Robertson. Robertson to Christian Nobles, leading everybody on the court, 25 points, a nice cut, and one. He's a thing of so beauty. So quick, I tell you. When you watch the Texas native in warm up, every time you're at Budweiser Garden, three ball, three ball, three ball. That's pretty much what he's practicing for about 20 minutes. Hurt receives the beautiful pass from Flory and caps it off. Yeah, they threw it cross court quick. Latter half of the game. Forte trying to go after the big man instead to ice him. Cross court to Tate. Down low to Forte. Couldn't handle it right away. Goes back to the left hand and flicks it in. He wasn't expecting that pass. Tate really had a clear lane to the basket. Bucket. So Syracuse down by nine. Nobles high arcing shot off the window. Got Forte. Kind of reminds me of Drew Brees when he used to be the quarterback of the New Orleans Saints. A shorter quarterback kind of had to roll back off the rim and in for Isom. Stone angles because of his height, and I think that's what Nobles did off the window in that last bucket. Hurt will feed Robertson. Robertson with the floater nylon twister. Eight point lead. Isom undetected behind the. Get it to go. I don't know if he's shocked at himself or the officials for no call that I didn't see. Jones on the floater, love off the rim, and it's in. He got the double-double. He's somewhat been limited in his court minutes tonight, but same result, 17 points, 10 rebounds, a double-double, seven of nine shooting. As getting around Lufiel and getting some love off the rim, as Kobe Nwandu now has 17 points in his own right. As well, seems like those two have been out together quite often. That's the matchup Doug Blum wants. Yeah. Holding on to Chris Jones, no calls. Jordan Robertson, play continues here. Lou Feel underneath the basket, attacks Josh Keyes and gets the result. Yeah, he's, he's strong, you can see that he's a wide body. In this game, yet to register points. Haley trying to punch his way away from Jordan Robertson. It's actually Jordan Jensen White from his keister getting the ball in the home team's favor. A little European side step from Jalen White and he celebrates back up the court. 14 point deficit for the visitors. Nwandu, three ball, bang. Again, he had the smaller defender in front of him and had lots of time to line it up, right? All the way up the court to 
Perry Thomas, Christian Nobles upset at his team's defense, banks that off oh, the mental league. Get this one to go, rebounded by a different one in Haley. His stretch pass is interrupted by, well, the aforementioned Kobe Nawandu. As he spills into the courtside stands, his beautiful pass to Jordan Robinson is capped off, and it's an 11 point lead. Hey, over the top of his head, nobody's touching him. And I don't know if it was frustration or just because the GPS was off, but you almost saw her try and punch the ball through the cylinder. As he's going after Forte, can't get Love off the rim, goes and gets his own offensive board. So Bulldog that likes a good belly rub, sometimes you'll find him on his back. Oh, oh, oh. look at this. Up the court, it's Noble to the two-hand cram from Jordan Robertson. He just stayed down here by the basket and snuck off their inbounds pass. Nobody paying attention. Led 29-20 after the first quarter of play, and it's really stuck to this format. Forte. Almost lost it. Got it back. Puts up the shot. Won't get Love off the rim. Tapping it in, though, is Jordan Jensen White. We're in the final minute of play here on your Saturday evening in this interleague play in the Battle of the Titans, if you will, as rattling it around and getting it to go down as Jim Tate. He's now got 18 points in this game. Yeah, he's a very controlled game tonight. Christian Nobles leading everybody on the, the court with 32. Guy, can't stop him from getting to the run. On the breaks, thought about attacking the rack. And instead, he's going to leave it there for Mr. Jones. And on your Saturday night, an interleague play in the battle of the undefeateds between the Syracuse Stallions and the London Lightning. Lightning win, lightning win. They pull off the 109-95 victory here at home court to stay undefeated in the 2022 National Basketball League of Canada season. My, oh, my. We knew somebody's, oh, had to go.